Hi, Joy Cans. Today is Friday, March 26. Today's scripture comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 36 to 46. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. He said to them, Sit here while I pray. He took Peter and two sons of Zebedee. They began to be troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is very sad. I feel close to death. Keep watch with me. He went a little farther, and he fell with his face to the ground. He prayed, My father, if it is possible, take this cup of suffering away from me. But let what you want to be done, not what I want. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray, then you won't fall into sin. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. Jesus went away a second time, he prayed. Then he came back. Again, he found them sleeping. So he left and went away once more. For the third time, he prayed the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples. He said to them, Look, the Son of Man is about to be handed over to sinners. Here comes the one who has handed me over to them. Amen. So joy kids, go meditate and come back. All right, welcome back, boys and girls. So today's message title is Pray at Gethsemane. So, you know, Jesus is about to die on the cross. And before that, he goes to this place called Gethsemane. And, you know, he takes these disciples, Peter and two sons of Zebedee. And, you know, we will be like, oh, how come there were 12 disciples? How come Jesus only brings these three disciples? And our answer could be possibly maybe Jesus invited all 12 disciples and only three of these disciples decided to come with Jesus. And you know, Jesus tells them, my soul is very sad, I feel close to death. And he asked them, can you pray with me? It's like, can you keep watch with me? But you know, they couldn't pray for even one hour. That's what Jesus says. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? So that means, all right, boys and girls, we need to pray at least one hour. That's what Jesus wants probably from us. I know some of you guys go like, oh, I can't even pray for five minutes. But boys and girls, just like how you guys train to pr play basketball, train to play golf, or train to swim, this needs training. Or when you guys do Taekwondo, right? I know a lot of you boys or girls right, are in part of Taekwondo team. You know, to break the brick, I know it's not easy at first. Maybe first time you cannot break it. As you train, you can break one. And that increased to two, three, four. Right? Just like that. Praying is the same thing. We need practice. We need training. So start with two, three minutes. And you guys can slowly increase. And there's another thing. Jesus, you know how he prays? He goes like, God, can you take this cup away from me? This suffering away from me? But Jesus then says, but let what you want be done, not what I want. And here's the secret to prayer. Boys and girls, you guys can tell everything that you want to God. You can tell anything honestly. But at the end, pray with this ending. God, let's let what you want to be done, be done. But some of us ask then, how come Jesus is God too? But why does Jesus only allow God, the Father, to do what he wants? The answer to that is, it's like this. God the Father, right? There's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, right? And God, the Son, who's Jesus, he is choosing to obey God, the Father. And so obeying is not something bad. It's not someone like who's young and 
has no power, obey because they have no power. It's not that. God the Father and God the Son, they have equal power. But God the Son, Jesus, chooses to obey God the Father. So obedience, boys and girls, is something very beautiful. Right? Something beautiful. It's not something that we think, oh, it's people who have no power. You know, they are forced to obey. No, that's not it. It's something very beautiful. So when you, boys and girls, when you guys obey to your parents, it's something beautiful. You're choosing whether to obey or disobey your parents. And it's an act of choice, but it's also an act of beauty. Just like how Jesus obeyed God the Father. And another thing God teaches us is that we need to pray. God says, watch and pray that you won't fall into sin. So what's another reason for praying? It's so that we won't fall into sin. You know, as we mentioned, Satan would always want us to fall into sin. But if we pray, right, that's another reason why we need to pray. And that is so that we won't fall into sin into sin so remember this right so let me read the potter's well jesus goes to pray at gethsemane he takes a few of his disciples with him although he asks them to stay awake and pray with him they kept falling asleep jesus prays to his father to take away the suffering he is about to encounter he also prays that god's will not his be done this happens three times. And then the crowd who wants to arrest Jesus arrives. So today's question is, how? what is the longest time that you've ever prayed? Have you guys been praying recently? What is the longest time that you have tried to pray? Have you guys been praying recently? All right, let me read the prayer. God, help me to come to you and honestly to ask you what I want. But more than this, help me to desire what you want to be done. Dear Heavenly Father, God, God, I lift up all joy kids up to you that we may pray so that we won't fall into temptations or sins. And Lord, help us to pray and ask your will to be done. And Lord, I ask that your heart and your desires will be poured down to me and our joy kids as well. Lord, we love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.